All right, so today I'm going to show you how we put protection diodes on the rectifier tube of the Seamer Duncan convertible amp here. First thing you got to do to um, get the chassis out is you have to take out these screws that are right here on these corner pieces. come off very easily. That exposes the two back screws for the chassis. I like to take out the front screws first. And I, it's easiest to just pull this back piece off as well. Set that out of the way. Then we can undo these back screws, but first I like to unplug the speaker and the reverb connectors. There we go. Now the next thing you got to do is take the modules out. Just make a note of how they were in there before you pull them out. Now that all those are out, you can pull out the chassis. Okay, so here you can see the chassis is not pulled out all the way. It'll just sit in the cabinet. You can pretty easily work on it. But right here is one set of diodes with the red wire connected. And then to the left of that is the other pair of diodes with the red wire connected. And then goes through the diodes to the tube socket. Super easy to do. You don't even really need to do any kind of shrink wrap or anything like that. Once these things are soldered in, they're quite sturdy, so. Okay, so there's those rectifier protection diodes. A little better view of it there. And since I got the chassis out, we'll just do a little overview of what's in here. These are some various uh, power supply filter caps. The main ones are in the bottom, the big blue ones. And here they have these orange Illinois capacitor caps. Um, and here we've got our power tube bias resistors, more capacitors, module sockets. Preamp module sockets, and you can see in here how the pots are all grounded via this wire, a ground bus wire that's soldered to the back of each pot. All these connectors 
are like um, little pin connectors. You can just pull the wire off. So it is possible to just take the whole front of the chassis off if you pull all these wires off. And here's the reverb center return area. And I forget what that big transistor with the heat sink on it is, but there's some more uh, electrolytic caps. So that's essentially the inside of the chassis. Once again, our rectifier tube socket. Notice the bands on the diodes are pointing towards the tube socket. One important thing to make sure you get right. And you can use 1N4007s or anything that's rated for high voltage. You have to use two 1N4007s to get the enough voltage rating. And it doesn't drop the voltage coming into this thing any thing that's worth worrying about. Also you'll see what I did on this board is uh, eventually I rounded up a a uh, component layout diagram of the main circuit board so I went ahead and labeled everything on here for future reference just in case something ever needs to be repaired or whatever it's easy to find on the board and compare the schematic that has the corresponding numbers like say R47 here you can find where it is on the schematic and where it is on the PCB and I don't know if in the later convertibles they had all this silk screened and marked but in this this early one which I believe is in 1984 none of that stuff was marked so it's probably a real pain in the neck for anybody to work on a thing so anyways there you go hope you found this video useful and informative let me know if it helped you out in the comments below Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.